There it is again. This time Doherty pushes over the hands of Swan. Take it out of the back. Keep it alive. You're going to push it back over. Free ball. Here's your set. Amory to the back. Taken by Farley. Swan. Good night. And Brandywine Heights, as they did in the last several games, taking control right here in this game. This is their point. This is where they've started the pull when they have put some separation. Actually, in the second the game, they, they made this kind of separation at about this point. Yep. Here's Melissa Farley. 13 serving eight. Here's your set. Amory. Double block. Not going to work, though. Bradley's out there. She's got to get her hands. And as a coach, you teach the person to reach across the net and turn your hands in towards the court so when the ball hits, it comes inside. Her hand's straight up, off the block, out of bounds. That's that's actually a, a hitter's block. Nine serving 13 now as number 14 steps in there. That's Jillian Grammer, and here's Grammer. Oh, Heather Swan got handcuffed for a moment. And a little long again from the far side. It was Alexa Swan. And a couple of mistakes by uh, Molly Grammer, and now one here by Alexa. Here's Grammer, 10 serving 13. You know where it's coming. Good dig out. It was 14, Jillian Grammer. And Amory coming back. Nice job in the back row there by number 24, Farley. Reset all the way across. Amory pushes it to the back. Did she find it? No. Siler keeps it alive. You're going to have a free ball on this side. Made it. Point, Brandywine Heights, huge point. It's everybody kind of sucked up toward the front by Southern Lehigh. And don't lose sight of what Emily Vaughn just did. Instead of putting the ball in a deep corner, she barely touched that ball over the net and shocked everyone, and they couldn't control the ball. It's Emily Vaughn right back is reaching back, number 19, Sarah Wukic, kind of trying to swoop a point over to the far side, not able to hook up on the line. Brandywine Heights with five points of separation right now. 15 serving 10. Oh, and just a moment of indecision up there. One of the rare moments you've seen from Alexa Swan all day. I think that was a, do I swing or do I tip? <laughs> it's kind of an in-between and results weren't very well placed. Amory, 11 serving 15. And you way outside the antenna. So 12 serving 15 now is Amory, the serve. Or Swan. Swan was up above every blocker they had at the net. Yep. Followed through straight down into the corner. No defense there. Rack up the kill. 16, serving 12 now for the Bullets of Brandywine Heights as Kara Bradley, the center, ready to serve. And one of those that just came over the net in the front line again and almost handcuffed the first person that had it, didn't know what to do with it. Right, and that's that's a communication thing. The, the back row player, um, Amory, has to let Doherty know she's there, scream mine so that she doesn't reach and go for that ball. Timeout by Don West and the Spartans of Southern Lehigh. It's, it's state history in the making. 2011 PIA Girls AA Volleyball Championships airing on the only statewide network bringing your community exclusive coverage of the PIA Championships, PCN, Pennsylvania's Championship Network. So Brandywine Heights uh, right now looking for another championship in the storied career of Mike Pienta and the Bullets. But they still have a little ways to go. And But 17-12 lead, you got to be happy at this point if you're them. Yeah, and, and you know, this is this evenly matched teams. Five points in a game like this is, is a lot bigger than, than it appears. And, you know, if you're Brandywine Heights now, the girls are starting to feel it. Um, you know, if you're Alexa Swan, you want it. And, and at this point, it's got to be – it's got to be grammar, and, it, and it's got to be grammar quick to, to try and take this to them. Kara Bradley, 17 serving 12, taken by Levis. And there's Grammer. Does she win? Yep, the first one. And there you were, coming right out of the timeout. You were exactly right, Mike. Get it back in her hands, good things will happen. Yep, and you and you got to keep feeding her. You got to let them stop her. She's your she's your horse. Take her and, and do what do what you got to do. Ride her till she bucks. Katie Castle. 
Push back over. You got a chance to set her up again right here. They're going to come all the way across. And there she is. Boom. Great dig by Siler. And then you get Alexa. But there's Grammer right in her face, shoulder to shoulder on the block up there with number 32, Jenna Forrester. Beautiful block. Very nice dig. Great rally. Two points in a row out of the timeout now. Here's Katie Castle. 14 serving, 17. There's Alexa going to come right back again. Looking for the point. It's going to be kicked away. That time, Grammer doing it not with the kill, but rather with the touch. We've seen three points out of the timeout. All three points have been on the shoulders of, of Molly Grammer, just as I would have expected. And I think the next one goes there, too. Just keep coming right on back and feeding her. 15, serving 17. Now just a matter of getting it over here for Katie Castle. Oh, wow. Katie Castle manages to find the inside corner. I was going to say, wow, that's pretty aggressive, but it was pretty aggressive, and it got the point. That's guts. <laughs> yeah, that, that is gutsy. But that was just a perfect serve. That's guts from a sophomore. That's what you call an ace in tennis. You're going to get another free ball here and chance to set it up once again for Grammar. Are they going to come back to her? You bet. Boom. Off the hands. Tie game. What a run here. Five in a row now by Southern Lehigh. You've got to think there's going to be a timeout by Mike Pienta, and there it is. Five in a row out of the timeout by Southern Lehigh as they fight back right now to a 17-17 tie right here on PCM, which is the only statewide network bringing your community exclusive coverage of the PIAA Championships. For more information about coming upcoming sports coverage, Visit the network website at PCNTV.com. Gary Sutton, Mike Elliott. Mike, you said it well. Coming out of the timeout, go get your big horse. And that's what they did to Molly Grammer, and she's had every single point so far. And that's, you know, if you're Brandywine Heights, you had to expect that. And they just haven't been able to stop it. It's not like they haven't been putting blocks up. They, she has just hit around them and hit smart. And, uh, you know, the, 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 only, the only exception is Katie Castle showing that uh, – She's uh, got enough guts for a senior to put a ball in a deep corner like that in this kind of situation. Here's Katie Castle again, putting it to the back. And now if you're Brandy One Heights, you want to be able to answer. Here's Alexa Swan. Ball swatted off the hands, out of bounds, and they get their point out of the timeout. Stop the momentum. So 18-17, and now Southern Lehigh has to answer. Here's Alexa Swan, 18 serving 17, floater. And then the dunk. On the other side, Sienna Heist waiting for it. This was one of those floaters you had to dig out, went up over the net, and Heist was right there. And again, Heist doesn't put it straight back. She puts it where the where the block is, where the hole is. Got to be deflating. Just ran five straight points, and you lose two out of the break. This is the big one. Yep, Grammar. And there's the block right at the net. Going to be a free ball coming back. You're going to get a chance to set up Swan. Not Swan in this case. Make that number 33, Heist. Once again, Grammer just wailing away. Grammer says, I'm going to get this thing if it's the last thing I do. And, and you're the coach. You, you, you tell Molly Grammer, we need you. You need to take us. Um, and and she's, she stepped up. Big serve right here. You want, you want 20 before your opponent gets 20, so this is your equalizer point. Here you go. Nicole Yates. Siler all the way over in the middle for a swan. Wide. Tie. Right back up again, 19-19, and you've got the ball in your hands, Nicole Yates. Great fourth game, dug out of there. Free ball. Swan beat it to net there by Grammer. Swing it over the top, number 19. Merkel, other side. Did they get the point? Yes, they did! Right down the line, Southern Lehigh with the lead. A few moments ago, they were down by five. They now are five points away from tying this thing up, 20 to 19. Here's Yates. And a double block. They get it again. Emery's going to push it back up. And Grammer, a little too anxious, hits it wide, 20 to 20. Adrenaline starts flowing, and there's a prime example. She, she got all that one just a little wide. 20, serving 20 off the hands of Merkel. Grammer, double block. It was the young one that time. 
Heather Swan says, I'll take it, sis, and, and puts it right back down. And she was just square up with Grammer's body. It was one-on-one, -on -one. so 21-20 here. Brandywine Heights with the lead. Here's a slide play. Not able to hook up is Grammer. And quickly, Don West is going to call timeout. Two-point lead for Brandywine Heights. They're three points away from their second state championship. For Southern Lee, how you wonder how many times they keep climbing the mountain here. And now you're getting to the point where the not not so much the heights of the mountain, but you're running out of daylight to get to the top of the mountain. And you know, Coach West has to tell them this point out of this timeout is is the point. And then we go for the tie, and then we go from there. But you know, 22, 20, it's it's getting to be a, a very critical time for Southern Lee. Yeah, you got basically a five-point game here if you're looking at it from their standpoint. On the other side, we got a three-point game to right. play. Here we go. Rebecca Merkel. And backside, once again, where do you go? Right back to the person that helped bring you to the dance, Molly Grammer. So back to within one. Once again, another point out of the timeout. Yep, and you lose Molly Grammer in your front row now. She needs to be aggressive serving. She needs to get her points for him back here. Swain. Dig out, push it back over. You're going to get a free one here. Oh, great block up there that time by number 12, Milan Amory. Beautiful, beautiful double block. Amory and, uh, and Forrester both up there. Both got their hands up. And it Goodness. wasn't there all of a sudden. Sienna Heinz looks like she had some daylight, and all of a sudden there was a block right there in front. Here's Grammer, tied, 22-22. Here's your set. Back. Good block up front that time by number 33, Heist. Hit again by Forrester to the back. Grammar back over, reset. Hit again by Heist. Dug out of there nicely by Yates. Off the hands. It was Amory. One point lead now for Southern Lehigh. Heather had the. Uh had the hands wide apart, and when they hit her hands, went through, and that, that's what caused that point. Southern Lehigh, great comeback here. Can they finish it off? Here's Grammer. 